everybody, Stephanie here. Today I'm going to do this really cute, easy, and very simple and fast birthday card. Um, it's for anybody really who enjoys pandas. It could be for a kid or a grown-up who just loves panda bears, and I love panda bears. So on this card, I pretty much just stamped the happy birthday in the back right here. And then, of course, on the front, and then I colored his cute little party hat. And then on the inside, I just did this cute little guy with a red balloon. Um, obviously, these colors are definitely up to you on what you want to do, but this is just pretty much how I did my card, okay? So, this is the stamp set that I'm going to be using. It's the pan Party Pandas, excuse me. I'm going to be using this Happy Birthday stamp a lot, especially when we do the um, background right here. For the inside, we're going to be using this cute guy with the balloon. And then on the front right here, we're going to be using this cute panda bear with the party hat, okay? So, I'm just going to take them out right now. Party hat panda, balloon panda, and the happy birthday. All right. And I'm also going to be using my stamp D block. I'm I'm never sure with this size, and I should know as I always use it. Always. Okay, my uh, color pads, um, ink pads, is Pool Party. Okay, and basic black. My markers, I guess, my blending pens that I'm going to be using to color the party hat and the balloon. I've got dark old olive, dark cherry cobbler, sorry I wasn't too sure about that, and then I got a dark Bermuda Bay. I'm not too sure if this is going to work, but I don't know. I've also got my dark daffodil dandelion okay I'm not sure if I'm going to use that yellow the daffodil um, as always I got my multi uh, liquid glue and for my papers I've got my pool party this one is three and three eighths by two and seven eighths okay three and three eighths by two and seven eighths and then I've got my really cool designer series paper. This is from the Share What You Love uh, flower um, paper. Um, I'm not using the flower side though. I'm going to be using the really cute uh, polka dots. And this size is seven. Oh, sorry, four and seven sixteenths. Four seven sixteenths by three and a quarter. Okay, three and a quarter. Four seven sixteenths, three and a quarter. And then both of these are um, pool party and they're the same. One's going to be going on the front of my card, which is a very vanilla. And it's a nine by six. Nine by six. And one's going to go on the inside. Okay, like that. Well, not exactly like that. And then one is going to go on the outside. All right. And once again, if you guys wanted to do this, you don't have to. Um, I did it because I think it's really cute. Um, you know, like I said in my um, other two videos that I had done, um, it's really up to you and it just gives your envelope a little bit more pizzazz and little cuteness. Um, I also stamped him. If you don't want to, you don't have to. It's just something extra to make the envelope look cuter. So that's an idea right there. This envelope is a whisper white. Um, you can also do it on a very vanilla. Okay. All right, so that's all that we need to get started. So let's get stamping, shall we? First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stamp um, the happy birthday because that's going to take the most time. Well, actually I'm not going to stamp the happy birthday just yet. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to stamp the 
um, party hat panda bear with the happy birthday in um, the black. And then I'm also going to stamp the um, balloon panda bear um, in the basic black just to get them dried because um, stamping the happy birthday is going to be a little bit longer than needed. Oh, and I, hold on guys, I'm sorry if I'm getting in the way, but I need to get this napkin. I am all out of wipes, so I'm going to be using this napkin to um, dab off my happy birthday. All right, let's get everything out of the way. So, I thought this would be just the cutest little card ever to do. Just mainly because it's, you know, who doesn't love panda bears, right? Pandas are so cute. Everybody loves them. A lot of, a lot of kids love them, so this could definitely be for um, a little kid in your life. Whoops. That's going to be, a, I'm going to do it over here. Sorry, guys. I kind of messed up right there. But that's okay. We just flip it over. And we do it on the other side. And stamp down. Wherever you think you want it. It does not have to be right in the middle like mine. I just like my panda bear to be in the middle because he's like, you know, the only one there, right? Three, two, one, up. Ta-da! Isn't he cute? I'm just stamping the extra ink right off onto my paper towel. All right. I know. I need to get a cleaner. It's on my next to-buy list. I will be getting one, don't worry guys. All right, put him down. Now I'm just gonna do the happy birthday and then I'm gonna keep that out. It's crooked. So, if you've watched any of my previous videos, I'm all about doing fast cards because, you know, who's really got the time, right? Don't get me wrong, you know, taking your time on doing cards it, they they do have some that are really pretty, but, you know, honestly, I just don't have quite a few hours to be doing, you know, working on a card, you know. I just, I just don't. I'm, I've got two kids. One of them are in, is in school, so there we go. Now I'm going to let that dry. And I'm just stamping off my happy birthday. Okay, now I'm going to get this cute guy, um, maybe I should have gotten the big block, the big girl, eh. I might have to go run and get that, we'll see how he does, gosh, I think I'm going to need a new black ink pad as well. This guy does not want his legs to get inked up. Alright, there we go. So you can pretty much put him anywhere you want. I'm actually going to put him like towards the corner here. Um, if you wanted to, you could have another one in the other corner, kind of like upside down, kind of, you know, cute. But um, just to save time, I'm just going to do it on one side. Like I said, this is a very fast card. All right. But you can put it right in the middle if you wanted to. That would be really cute. Or in this, the other corner upside down. That would be really cute. I should, I should do that. I don't think I'm going to do that right now, though. All right. And that's okay. I got a little bit inked in the middle. I'm going to try to redo it because his legs are not as I wanted them to be. So hopefully I did it good. Matched him up. Eh, he's a little off. It's okay. You know what? I'm not liking that. I really don't like that middle. So what I'm going to do is flip it over. And I'm going to stamp him again. really don't like that middle of the balloon inked up. 
All right, his legs are dark. Okay, let's do this again. Put it down wherever you want. Okay, push down hard. All right, three, two, one, up. There we go, much better. And I didn't get that black dot in the middle. All right, now I'm stamping him down and I'm done with the black ink pad. So, there we go, I'm just stamping him down. All right. Let him dry over there. Now, for this one, um, this is going to probably be the longest one. There we go. I'm sorry. It was, just, it was crooked. Um, this is going to be the longest one to go. What I'm going to do is I'm actually not, I'm going to try not to get it, um, all like uniformed, you know, all the way across in a line. I'm going to, I'm going to try not to do that. Um, but I may end up doing that because that's just who I am. I'm, I'm sorry, but mm, I like everything to be uniformed, you know, the same, but I'm, I'm trying. This is a card that I want the background to not be like you know, if, if my words are kind of crooked, I don't, I'm going to be okay with that because I don't, um, I don't necessarily want it to be straight. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, imperfect, you know. All right. I'm sorry if I'm moving in a lot. So we're just going to come up and just stamp like that. And I have this paper towel down. You can also use paper or, um, I could definitely just stamp right on this and, wipe it up with a hot rag or whatever, but I don't want to. Um, and this also gives it a nice little cushion for me as well. So I'm just going to do it again. Just like that, all the way across. Top to bottom, and it's okay if it's like coming off in that. It's completely fine. Right here I'm not going to, I'm going to stamp some of it off. There we go. Okay, and I know I'm going uniform. <laughs> I'm trying not to though. Um, so it's like, oh, it all says happy birthday in, in one long, you know, wording and stuff. And I'm also trying to make sure that I, I'm not stamping around the edges. I know I got a little um, wet right here and on the top, but um, I'm also not pushing down as hard because that's why I stamp and then I look at it to see oh I got a little so I can't put a lot of pressure on my paper because I don't want that to show up. If that does show up and it's like up in the corner or on the sides and not in like towards the middle where we're gonna cover it up with um, our polka dots then you know f you can flip it over if you're not really happy with that. All right, and it's okay. See, mine is, I didn't push down really hard, so it's not as dark. That's okay. I'm, like I said, I'm not looking for it to be completely perfect. I'm just stamping down really fast, and um, I'm, not push, I'm not really pushing a lot of pressure down like I would normally. Normally, I, well, with the panda, I was like, you know, pushing down really hard and counting. This, I just want to go like really fast and not, um, not do as much. And you see, I have a big gap right there. That's kind of bothering me, but I'm, I'm trying to like let it go. Um, because like I said, we don't want it to be a completely perfect card. So I'm just stamp. Just continue to stamp. I know. I'm I'm sorry if I'm like confusing you, but just trying to let you know what I'm doing.
This is gonna it, this is gonna be end up coming out really cute. Don't worry, guys. And gals. So today was the second week of school, and uh, yeah, I guess my son's uh, really liking it. He's liking second grade, which is good. Not many kids do, you know. But um, I guess they're doing a martial arts in his uh, PE class now. So we have a chance to buy the belts, you know, for the levels that they level up on. So he's really excited to get his first belt and to get started in that, which I think is really cute. You know, a really good idea to get the kids more interested in doing PE. Because, you know, I remember growing up, I did not like PE at all. I hated PE, you know? Who, who really liked it? Although there were f some fun games that I did enjoy in, like, you know, elementary and that. But as soon as high school came, I was just junior high and high school. I was just like, no, I hate PE. But I did go to a school where... You only had to do PE two times well, for your freshman year and your sophomore year. After that, you got your two electives that you wanted. So that was really cool. All right, and right down here, I'm coming off a little bit, which is fine. And we are done. So like I said, that was probably the, this was probably the most longest one part of the card and now all we have to do is just glue everything together and then we're going to be done. Well, aside from doing a little bit of coloring, but uh, you know, the coloring doesn't usually take that long. Hold on guys, I'm going to take a drink for a second. All right. So, I'm going to glue my happy birthdays on my card first. And like always, not not a lot of glue. A little does go a long way. Okay, there we go. And I'm just going to try to get it re right even in the middle. Okay. Move up a little bit down. Uh, if your paper comes out kind of sideways and crooked, it's okay. You can um, just end up giving this to a kid, you know. They're not really going to care as much. And then I'm going to glue down my inside card. Glue pen. Remember, guys, a little goes a long way. All right. And then make sure you get it facing correct. If you wanted to, you could always have him. See how cute that would be? Upside down plus have another one right there. That would be cute. I think I'm going to do a card like that because that was just adorable. I'm sorry if my hands were shaking. Alright, just like that. And press down. Okay, I don't know what color I'm going to do the balloon, but We'll figure it out. All right. So, party hat. I'm going to get my uh, dark cherry cobbler. And with my past video, um, I, I told you which side um, is which. This side is like the very um, stiff, doesn't really move. I hope you guys can see that. Doesn't really move side. Um, I don't really like using this side. This side is more like a paintbrush. Um, if you can see how pointed that is at the end. Um, it's very flexible if, you know, it moves. I hope you can see this. It's moving up very lightly. Um, so this is the side that we're going to use because all I really have to do is just do one little dot or two and it'll spread the ink for me. So I think I'm going to do two. So see, two dots and it's like it just spreads it for me. One, one right there, and then I think I'm going to do another one in the corner right there. And I may do 
the cherry cobbler for the balloon, but I'm not too sure yet. All right, and then I have my dark old olive. Once again, I'm going to be using the paintbrush side. Okay, and I'm just gonna do right here. I know, it's pretty dark, but that's okay. And then I got, I don't know if I can figure out how to open it, my dark Bermuda Bay. And again, paintbrush side. I hope this one works. Was that more? Oh yeah, look at that. Isn't that cute? All right. So I'm not gonna be using the yellow, but I think I will. Yeah, you know, I think I'm gonna use the blue. I'm gonna use the dark Bermuda Bay with the paintbrush side to color the balloon. Honestly, you guys can use whatever, whatever, ugh, whatever color you want. I'm just going lightly. I'm just doing light brushes going around the balloon. Kind of out, outlining it, but on the inside. So I don't really want to push that hard because, like I said, this side does spread um, the ink around a lot. So just like that. All right. Now, I'm going to glue the party hat, happy birthday, panda bear, onto my DSP, my designer series paper, and just a little bit, smear it around as well when you go. Okay. And like I said, it's okay if he is crooked. He does not have to be in the middle and perfect. All right. Now we're just gonna glue this down and we are gonna be done with this card. Very fast and very simple, cute card. You know, honestly, for anybody who just loves panda bears, can be for a kid and a grown up. It's a really cute, versatile card for anybody. And you can, by all means, add ribbon to it. You can add some jewels and pearls to it as well if you wanted to. Um, I just didn't, just to show you that um, it can be a very fast card. But also, taking the time to tape down and or glue down a ribbon behind him wouldn't add much more time. We're just adding some cute little jewels at the top, you know, if you're giving it to a girl. All right, moving these out of the way. So, there we go. Cute. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. And you can follow me on Facebook at Card Creations by Stephanie. And on my Etsy page, I am going to be um, posting some... Uh, cards for sale like this one. Um, if you follow me on Etsy, it is Cards by Steph Ruby. All right, thank you guys so much. Make sure to like, share, subscribe. See you next time.